I'm going to tell you something we don't have long. But I tell you, look, sometimes a person says, oh, minister, you, you said to us, 2025, plus or minus this. People are mad when you talk like this. Trouble. But let me tell you, I will never, 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 never stop saying that. I don't care if the whole world stands against it. The Bible says, what if some did not believe? What the faith of some make the word of God without effect? God forbid, let the whole world be a liar. But let God be true. And I'm willing to stand flat-footed, alone, and single if it's true. Do you want to stand with Jesus? Now, my brothers and sisters, listen, listen to me. 2025 plus or minus, I'm praying, I'm praying, Lord, please give us a little more time. Because it's not looking so good for us. And we're not hearing this. I'm it's sad to say, people are afraid to talk about this. Afraid, fearful. But my brothers and sisters, a true minister of God, I could not be a true minister of God and not tell you the reality that we are in trouble. Read that on the board with me. Anybody read that? What does it say? Project 2025. How many have heard of Project 2025? That's not just a word I'm saying. That, that, that's a very, that's a national name. I just, I, look, look, this is what's interesting. Look, look, evidence is so self-evident that you don't have to make anything up. My brothers and sisters, 2025 plus or minus, I didn't make that up. I'm just looking at what the Bible says, what the prophet says, what history says, what the refill of knowledge says, and my brothers and sisters, and today, evidence vindicates everything that you say, if it's true. Now, my brothers and sisters, Project 25, you've never heard of it, have you? I want to show you what it is, Project 2025. PBS News Hour. Who is this right here? Who is this? Mr. Trump. Look what it says. Conservatives aim to restructure U.S. government and replace it with Trump's vision. Now, I want you to understand this. is it's not really Trump's vision. We're going to actually find out that there are evangelicals. Some are very well-meaning, but do not understand what the Bible teaches. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. And here's a plan to restructure the U.S. government. Now, does the Bible tell us in the last days that America's government will be restructured? What does the Bible call it in symbolic language? The image of the beast. And the image of the beast is just the image of the beast itself where the church controlled the state. Am I right? In America, the Constitution is to provide that there is to be no uh, uh, power of the Congress or the state to be controlled by religious powers. No religious test. That's in the Constitution, Article 1. Brothers and sisters, there is in America what is known as a separation of church and state. This says the conservatives aim to restructure U.S. government. I wonder how it will be restructured. I wonder what they mean, and I wonder when they want to restructure it by. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? This prophecy? And we're sitting carelessly, and I'm saying, please God, wake us up. This manifesto is a 1,000 page document. You might as well call that a big book. And the document is called, guess what the document is called? Project 2025. Oh, Minister, you're making up that name. How did I get to the Washington group and tell them to call it 2025? Well, I got some power. I mean, I mean, I mean that is, it's amazing how man is deceived by the devil. I didn't make this up. Let me tell you something. Exactly what happened in Nazi Germany is what this is talking about right now. The whole reshaping of the government. Now, please listen to what it's saying because it doesn't mean something. They're saying that because of the liberal left attacking churches and organizations and schools and institutions and civic life, we can no longer tolerate this atheistical, humanistic, secular agenda. That we must bring America back to God. This is what they're saying, Project 2025. We see that there is an attack against the Bible. There is an attack against God. But what the devil does is mixes truth and error, the knowledge of good and evil, and that's the tree he wants us to bite from. Barry worries that God ordained the... That's in the project. God ordained the Sabbath as a day of rest. And until very recently, the Judeo-Christian tradition sought to honor that mandate by moral and legal regulation of work on that day. Quote, in Project 2025, they're saying not just political uh, policies. They're saying 
that we need to restructure the government so that the Sabbath becomes a part of legal law in Project 2025. That should make our hair stand up. I, I don't know what else to tell us that in 2025, the plan, plus or minus, is to pass a Sunday law. Here the two four. Those who presented the truths of the third angel's message, warning against the beast's image, is marked Sunday law, have often been regarded as mere what? Oh, 2025, this is an alarm, plus or minus. Their predictions that religious intolerance would gain control where? In the United States and that what? Church and state would unite to persecute those who keep the commandments of God have been pronounced groundless and... Well, you know, Project 2025 is saying all of this. But as the question of enforcing Sunday observance is widely agitated, the event so long doubted and disbelieved is what? Seen. I'm going to tell you something, you, you can close your eyes all you want, but 2025 plus or minus, you can't get away from it. It is coming. Whether we like it or not, whether we want it or not, and the prophet says, we should be able to see it approaching. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, if ever there was a time to get ready, it's now. It's when.